Hello and welcome back. We are, we're in the thick of it. We are four strata deep in the ruins. Oh God. Starting this video with some habanera. What is this? Low light laser turret tinker. That's what we want. Whoa, that's a rocket launcher. Don't like that. Oh no, that's a traipsing mortar. I'm totally fine with that. Can we swipe their traipsing mortar out of their hand? Yeah, we can apparently. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Oh, right. Mortar tube. I already did this. Uh, we got, we found a pistol at one point. Masterwork Jack's laser pistol with a nuclear cell. Heck yeah, bud. You can just disassemble items if they have a cell in them. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter. Thanks, bud. You are going to feed my bad habits. Uh, dude, don't die instantly. Oh my god. <laughs> it's hitting him more than it's hitting me. Ah, dude, every time. They die every time to their own gun. It's like some cruel Shakespearean uh, irony, you know? Doot, doot, doot. Bop, bop, bop. Do, 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 do. Swipe. Swipe. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Swipe. Boop, 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 boop. Get all the stuff. All the stuff. Explore while we regain our health. And we're good to go downstairs. Five strata deep. Around this time, I should probably turn around. And, um,. You know, thing, things around this deep get a little bit too spicy for me. It's not that I can't take them on. It's just that I can't take them on in a very lazy turn off my brain way. Oh, we have carbide plate armor and a weird artifact. A 20 pound weird artifact. That's going to be interesting. A mag hammer. Ooh, well, that's definitely nice. Not good for us, but we can get some good stuff out of it. Uh, carbide plate armor. I just realized that we are carapace build, so that's not going to work. But steel shield. Now that's an interesting one. I think that that could be good. Now I did ask Brian directly, how do shields work? And the man, the legend himself, could not necessarily tell me, give me an answer about how... How do shields work in terms of like holding multiple of them or putting one in your primary hand? There's a lot of mysteries involved when it comes to shields. I think it would be worth learning shields and putting one in one of my spare hands. It could potentially increase our AV. However, um, I don't think it's worth doing that with a steel shield, so I don't know why I picked up the steel shield. Oh god, oh why do, why are we walking into freaking uh, dervish? That's a nightmare. Can we we I don't think we can can we oh yeah we can. We can disarm them. But I don't think that this disarmed them of their psionic weapon. Oh no, it totally did. Yo, that doesn't make sense actually. That's kind of interesting. Um, Plasta for Jerkin is, um, I don't know if it's worth taking, but it is too heavy for us right now. They have a psionic folded carbide wrist blade. Now we can't, this is a, this is one of those things that you see in Caves of Cud patches and you're like, what are you talking about? But you can sell psionic blades. Now, can we really break this down? I really need us, I need you to work with me here a little bit. Um, what is a psionic blade? First of all, uh, psionics are generally speaking uh, Weapons conjured from a person with a mental ability to do so they're like they're they're mentally conjured weapons, right? I, I love this, you know, this is great um, There are weapons that only should exist so long as the person in question that conjured them is Thinking of them. Oh, we got nulling gas It's gonna be it's either a grenade or oh no it's a uh it's just a it's just a, a droid 
that'll be decent XP actually. These guys uh, are worth quite a bit. Anomaly extinguisher. 550 XP. Yeah, so like, here's the thing is like, as soon as the person in question, what do you mean small cube? Metered nuclear cell, heck yeah, bud. Um, as soon as they die, then the the item disappears. It, and I, and I mean, in CUD, there's a bit of a delay. The, the item kind of like dissipates into the ether. Normality gas might be worth having. Is it a huge weapon? Heavy weapon, it is. Um, it's actually quite nice. And it's also not that heavy. So we could actually keep this around. Shove a nuclear cell in it. And I'm just becoming like Inspector Gadget with all the stuff that we've got. Might be worth um, thinking about getting rid of some of our extra business here. Uh, what did we pick up that is so heavy, actually? Missile weapons. Lacquered Isakari rifle. We could definitely get rid of that. We'll treat those as scrap as well. Disassemble. Um, we can get rid of this masterwork jack laser pistol. We'll treat those as scrap. Disassemble. And just like that, we are under limit now. So the fact that we can sell a psionic weapon is just hilarious to me because it's sort of like selling, you know, using, uh, like leprechaun gold. It's like, yo, here's this, uh... Here's this money, dude. Here's this cool weapon. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you some water for that. And then they just like check their inventory later and it's just not it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, we've got a legendary bark biter. Hated by cannibals, admired by the villagers of Ezra. We do not really want to be on bad terms with this bear. Unfortunately, our beguiling um effects are gone and we don't have another you know, love morsel. Don't think we do anyway. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we don't. Uh, I kind of want to keep our remaining lovers and lover lovers tonic, um, because I haven't figured out how to make lovers tonic yet, and we actually have quite a lot of ingredients for making it. Oh god, um, I really don't want to make enemies to this bear so i think it's time to leave I'm just gonna leave okay they are stunning us okay we're, we're good to go oh there's a oh there's a turret tinker oh there, there they go <laughs> it's fine we get we we get a couple more bits here Okay, and then we disassemble all of this. And we continue upstairs. We could just like hightail it to Greek Gate. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Can't believe how difficult it is it is right now to find... All I'm looking for is night vision goggles. <laughs> like they're not that rare. <laughs> At least they shouldn't be. Um, actually, I want to talk to Q girl because I think she has some trade goods Probably I don't know where she is right now. Actually Um, actually let's go to Jopa instead because um, Argive has a ton of trade goods Oh Place cell this is why it's good to keep like one chem cell. Oh, I didn't mean to go to grit gate I meant to go to Jopa Archive, my old friend. Let's let's talk. Let's talk about all those gems I sold you. You got rid of them, didn't you? Arg oh no, there they are. <laughs> okay, we're looking to get back thirteen hundred and fifty trams. Now the slender plastic for bonnet. Would that be worth keeping? I wonder. Probably not. I'm. Um, 
Oh, right. We had this four horned helm. Get rid of this chain mail as well. I don't know why I'm carrying chain mail. Get rid of some of that stuff. Um, we could get rid of these, some of these combustion cells. They're actually quite good bits though, so I don't think I want to do that. We do have some nuclear cells we could disassemble. Um, I think what I'd like to do is just use them for now, and then when they're used up, then I'll disassemble them. And that way, you know, we're making the most uh, out of that energy. Um, we'll sell this floating glow sphere. I don't know why I'm carrying some of this stuff. It's not really useful. Uh, sell a gas like Chris, obsidian Chris. There's the psionic folded carbide wrist blade. Um, these are not really worth all that much. I thought I disassembled them, but that's fine. Sell the steel shield. We really didn't get as much as, as I was hoping for. Still the silver ronder. Um, I don't know. Maybe that silver ronder wouldn't be, be would be would actually be worth keeping because it's kind of hard to find a face item that gives AV. And so you know, if we can modify something else to have two faced, then we could actually get that AV. Uh, this flaming full right longsword is quite valuable, but I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to sell. We really didn't get all that much stuff. We have this slender plastic for bonnet. This looks okay, and it has some resistances. Might be worth modifying that, except it's already modified with something I don't really want. And so therefore it's gonna cost a lot more to modify than, than I would like. Um, we do have a home electric wrist warmer. That's actually quite good for going to Bethesda Sousa. You know, I could just avoid the troll. I think we're on neutral terms with the troll, so we don't... Oh, right, they have the key. That's the why. I, that's why I can't actually go to Bethesda Sousa right now. Okay, let's just um, trade for what we can afford. So we'll do one Peridot and we'll do one rough agate get a couple of our gems back all right well we could just head to another um we could head to another uh ruin and just check that out because it's kind of what we're doing right now like until I find some, you know, night vision goggles, I'm, I'm not, I'm kind of stuck. I'm stuck as we are. We could check out the base of the rusted archway, like the, do I have any copper wire? I do have some. Uh, I don't know if I've already repaired the doorway at the bottom. But well, we could go to the, through the doorway. What was I supposed to give that Beetle? I don't think I even checked that Beetle out. Did I check them out? Three raw Scorpioc meats. Right. Um, that would mean killing three Scorpiocs and turning off Butcher. Let's just check this out, because you know what? This is always kind of fun for a laugh. Bzoop. Are transported. You discover 15th star Tumas. Is this uh, damaged? Tumas full gate. Capacitor very low. Where are we? We are on the surface. We are. Oh, we're in the stilt. Oh, close sphere. Don't mind if I do. Musket. Don't mind if I do. 
Uh, toolkit? Sure, why not? Some good stuff so far. It's fairly interesting. We do have a fusion reactor. I don't know if we can deploy piping yet. I don't know that if that's a thing that has been established in CUD yet. Because the thing is, like, you know, this is uh, strange tubes. These are... We need to figure out this stuff. Glass hydraulic pipes. They have al algal gel. And... Um, we'd need to wire up from this fusion reactor all the way over there. I don't think we have enough wiring to make that happen. So this is kind of where this adventure ends, unless I go and get some more copper wiring, which is, generally speaking, not worth it. Um, well, okay, you're lost. Let's just, like, I kind of just want to head over to some ruins. Hostiles nearby, huh? Slug snout. You know what? Taste my wrath. Geomagnetic disc. Got some witchwood bark. We're leaving that. You're lost again, huh? Failure glyph flashes on the side of the geomagnetic disc. Uh, did it run out of juice? No, it didn't. Do we have a friend over here? Uh, we have an idol, but not a legendary idol. I should go and try and find some Naftali. I, I've, I've played with this idea before, but like trying to find some Naftali warriors, um, specifically to um, find a legendary robot, make friends with the robot. Make friends with robots. You can't equip the geomagnetic disc, it's broken. Got broken already? Thrown weapons. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of fixed spray foam. Let's go ahead and apply some to our. Geomagnetic disc. Where is it? Okay, there it is. And re-equip it. S. Thrown weapons. There we go. Re-equipped. Pretty sure it was all that acid gas that hurt it. We're still lost, right? It's great when you can like stomp on slug snouts with absolute just zero mercy. Whip up a meal. I don't really want to do any crafting yet. Like recipe crafting. We're in the hills now or desert canyon. Ooh, we got a legendary s a s a snap jaw. Admired by hermits. Meh. Meh. I'm good. Regain your bearings. Let's leave. Oh, that's uh, that's honey down there. Usually this is marked by... Oh, wow, that's a lot of honey. Usually this is marked by a legendary bear, and there was a bear. So I'd like to find out where this bear is. It's probably a legendary bear on this tile. Not seeing one yet. Well, they're, they've got very high DV, so they're not getting hit by my geomagnetic disc. So let's just try dodging lasers, I guess. There was some ruins nearby. Well, this is a lot of ha things happening on my way to some ruins. Like, I was just going to do some ruin diving, and instead we're finding, like, many ruins. 
That's a good sign. Oh, Issachar, never mind. Isakari is fine. Not really what we're looking for. We're looking for some bits. Not that kind of bits, you know. Um, I mean, this is okay. That's all right. I'll take that. Okay, uh, I am... Oh, I'm lost again. I haven't taken wayfaring, to be fair. This is how you get yourself killed. In the canyons, mind you. I just want to head over to the ruins next to Golgotha. On the 22nd, we might as well check this out. Are we in the jungle? Can't tell. What was that I just killed right now? Snapjaw? Oh, these are big bad snapjaws. Oh, they poisoned me. I love the animation for them throwing nets. That's really fun. Well, guys, I really wasn't going to try and kill you. But uh, you 100% forced my hand. We got to be coming, Nook. Weird artifact. Shield implant. And we've got a slumberling. I think we want to just like kill that slumberling. Some good XP right there. Got some books. I love a good ruin, you know. This one's pretty good. Found some books. That's it. That's that's that. Notice some ruins. Wow, we we uh, I cannot get. You know, it just occurred to me that I have some. I probably have a lot of bits right now, and I could tinker up some interesting things. We could use some more photonics. Uh, this is not the, a good time to realize this, by the way. But like, yeah, uh, nulling, serrated, like we could... Um, I could make this full right longsword electrified or serrated. And... Um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like electrified would be better. And then we could throw a nuclear cell in it. It would be better than what we're using. Um, we could make something give us intelligence. There's a lot of things we could do. I'm just, I'm just like thinking out loud at this point. Refractive is kind of nice. Cranial bane. Hmm. I don't even know what my cranial bane is. Oh, it's a, it's a, one of my weapons. Okay, let's um remove this. Kind of want to do this. I, I I've been meaning to do this. We're gonna disassemble one of my nuclear cells. I said I was gonna wait till one was like depleted. So um why don't we just like is it... oh wow none of our guns. None of our items are like even remotely drained. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this metered one. Disassemble that for a bit and then modify. We're gonna modify this full right longsword with kind of want to do electrified. So it'll be flaming and electrified. We can, um, oh, nulling. When powered, this item astrally burdens its wielder. That's actually really nice. Okay, now, uh, let's make our... Wow, we haven't had a weapon in our main fist for a long time. How long has that happened? I guess I've been using my ranged weapons for a while, so it doesn't, hasn't really mattered. But still, wow. So now we're doing some really decent damage. Little bum dies. Is this a, another ruin? Is that what, what's going on right now? We got goat folk. Yeah, that does some really nice damage, like, right away. Good lord, I love this weapon that we are currently using. 
I love it. Flaming electrified full right. Come on. We've got a glow moth. We had a glow moth. All right, so we're gonna head into this ruin. We're gonna do a little bit of ruin diving before I end the episode. We're still looking for night vision goggles. Oh God damn it. I just had to encounter the one thing that would actually pose a threat to us. Let's do a precognition and I'm gonna do a stunning force. Yeah, I was really hoping it wouldn't come to that. Oh god, I hate Sawhanders so much. Wow, I might actually die. Truly, truly hate Sawhanders. Um, they're damaged. Badly damaged. Thank god. Good god, I hate Sawhanders. Famished. Well, that's a not a bad way to end the episode. <laughs> we didn't die. I didn't lose any of my limbs. Didn't lose anything. I think our maybe uh no, we didn't even get anything cracked. I thought I heard a crack, but it's fine. That was such a bad way to encounter a sawhander. Um oh I guess we've got a little bit of time left before I end the episode. I didn't realize. Um nowhere left to go, huh? I kind of disagree, actually. Okay, that's what we want. We want turrets. Oh, we're famished. I should cook a meal. This is the perfect alcove to cook a meal. Uh, let's choose some ingredients. I'm going to choose Hulk honey and uh, I don't know, salt. We can choose a third one. Let's choose not uh let's try like bear jerky perfect oh we can't do three i want to do three let's um let's take spicer i am i'm not uh ignorant to the fact that we have a bunch of skill points that i could just use okay let's try that again bear jerky uh hulk honey and salt One intelligence for the rest of the day. Very nice. Guaranteed to be tasty if eaten well hungry. Plus 10 to 15 max HP can use intimidate. Pass. Uh, whenever you drop below 20 HP, you have a 50... Nah, pass. Wow. Whenever you take damage, there's a 12 to 15% chance to you heal to full 15% of the time. These are all garbage. These are all garbage. <laughs> Good God. Learn to cook better, me. Did we just... Oh, we didn't learn... I was hoping we learned some Reshef lore there. Wonder what we got in that jar. That look, Is that salt? Molten wax. I don't know what the cooking with that does. We should, um, I should give that a go, actually. I'm interested. What, what, uh, what would cooking with molten wax do, do you think? Best thing about Electrified, actually, isn't just that it goes through AV like, like a freaking hot knife through butter, but also, uh, I'm just gonna disassemble the freeze ray. Is this a heavy weapon? No, it's a bow and rifle. It's also that it, it, um, like jumps through like a bunch of different enemies as long as they're like touching. Okay, all of this sucks. I 
I wanted to grab that skull conjecture injector before it got destroyed Philippine, huh? Oh, that acid is really traveling. Oh, did I not pick up the skulk? There we go. Haha. <laughs> and boop. Did we disarm it? Yes, we did. Pretty sure that's how we got our chain gun. Those are those are chain laser turret. Boop. Um, I don't think we disarmed it. No, we didn't. Boop. Now we disarmed it. I don't know if we got anything good. This uh, this ruin seems a bit spicier than the other one. Like immediately, so. The fact that we encountered a saw hander on the first floor is kind of nasty. Oh, that was a poison beard? I don't know if I've met one of those before. Maybe I have. They all kind of bleed together, you know? Um, something's hurting us pretty badly. Is that a rocket launcher somewhere? Yo, dude, I, I like your turrets and all they're they're fun, but can you stop? What are you? Stasis miner, that's fine. Okay, get our health back. We're hungry again. Wow, that didn't last long. We're not inspired, so I'm just gonna make a basic meal. What was that? Oh, stasis. Stasis is a weird one to me because as far as I know, um, nothing can really get through the stasis field. I, I might be wrong about this. Another one of those things is like really oh Dreambeard, huh? Oh Dreambeard would be great if we could get a corpse. Ah oh, damn. Oh that would have been so good. If we could uh, cook with some Dreambeard like gland, then we could like supercharge our uh, our sleep gas. That would be amazing. Um, I forget what I was talking about. Completely forgot. It's gone. That's a gas grenade. I do not want to play around with any of that. And there we are. Okay, let's just get down to the next floor. Um, yeah, Dreambeard is nice. Oh, that's a rocket launcher? Oh, traipsing mortar. I'm always very grateful that it's a traipsing mortar over uh, a rocket turret. Rocket turret is one of the few things that could like reliably take us out. Did we? We did disarm it. That's the only thing I care about. Overburdened. Did we disassemble? No, we didn't. Okay, we're gonna have to disassemble some stuff. Uh, probably Jack laser turret. Uh, laser chain? Jack's chain laser. My goodness. Actually, let's also treat these lacquered chain guns as scrap. Um, I'm not gonna treat Jack's chain lasers as scrap just yet. But I am going to disassemble both of them. Get those nuclear cells. Oh, God damn it. Why? Why? Every single time. Every single time I encounter a saw hander, it's like through a tree and it's instantly in my face. And it's already cleaved through my armor. Like it gets such a 
stupid advantage just right away. Um, I'm never sure how to approach the situation. Like stunning force is actually, it seems to do nothing to them. Um, like none of our basic stuff works. I could just try and shoot them, but our dude is so horrendously bad at aiming that that does not necessarily work. I'm just like, it, it puts me on edge instantly <laughs> when I come across a freaking saw hander. I hate them so much. Like they don't just like cut off your arm. Like that's actually already really bad. But the fact that they, um, the fact that they also break down your armor effectively making you easier to kill to everything else is uh, i think what really sets me off on them oh one last lad over here take the jacked chain laser wire oh right we're not disassembling we're not treating these as scrap just yet i don't think that treating them as scrap will disassemble the one we're holding so i guess i'll treat them as scrap but I'm, I'm just a little wary i don't want to accidentally disassemble the one we're holding so we're five strata deep as i say this is usually when i turn back as soon as we encounter our first spooky thing that i don't really want to fight Or like legendary that I want to make friends with. I guess I didn't mark down the location of that one dude. That bear. Oh, we have a fungal forest, huh? Oh, worse than that. We've got black gels. Hate black gels. I see the guy on our right. They're a problem as well, but I'd much rather get rid of these dudes. Let's see if we can't swipe this guy's... Uh, yeah, we disassembled or uh, disarmed them. I just, I have to uh, prioritize those guys because they can get you sick. And I really don't want to have to deal with slog. Slog mouth. Not a huge fan of the clonelings either. They've gotten me killed. Although I'm not a mental mutant right now. And honestly, I think that the uh, clonelings pose a bigger threat to mental mutants than anything else. Actually, like trying to protect our turret tinker here so that I can uh, disassemble his product just gonna let him do his thing oh uh, those guys are fine right these are convalescence ones blue gel well they are covered in other bad stuff so I will go out of my way to, to kill them Why is the beetle bum mad with us? So dude, um, do you want to like go and do your thing? No, no, you just want to follow me around. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to kill you. Oh God. Um, we did step in the goop and there's already eels running around in that. So, uh, really not fan of that. Clean our stuff off. I really, really don't want to get flogged. Grab this jacked laser pistol. Just disassemble it. Ooh, uh, another nuclear cell. These are good bits. We're going to be able to make some really good gear when we're done. Uh, 
or seven strata deep this is uh deeper than i tend to like to travel we haven't really fought seen anything that i don't want to deal with except for maybe saw handers not a huge fan of this closed quarters ruins nice laser works really well against those snails We're not hungry yet. You're fam. Oh, okay. We're not hungry yet. We're famished. We're not inspired, so we're just gonna cook up a meal. Nothing fancy. Go down to the next floor. Anything cool yet? We're nine strata deep now. Hey, I tell you, it's it's not gonna it's gonna be fine until it's not. You know. I like how he instantly takes damage, right? Instantly dies to his own bullshit. I just think that's hilarious. Okay, this is a little much, but I think we can handle it. Just come back out, wait for a swipe to come off cooldown, go back in, break all the stuff, get all the stuff, loot everything. Okay, we've got novice. Oh no. This happened in uh, my game with Galen. And uh, this combo is one of the worst you can encounter in the entire game. Becoming confused and then And then uh, getting burrowed is is almost instant death So now I don't know what to do I think the best we could do is just like fire in the general direction And just kind of hope Um We could look through all of this uh, until I see something that makes sense. Eat, but that could be just, you know, nothing basically. Auto collect liquid, treat a scrap. I'm wondering if like, if we could find a tonic, activate. Jesus, this is like the worst. Let's do a um, precognition start. How about that? We'll start with that. And we'll do like a stunning force in this direction. And then I'm just going to like shoot in this general direction. I'd like to return the state of your vision. Yep. I don't think that there's any way we can get out of this. We got like instantly comboed confusion and then um, and then burrowed and I don't think that there's much we can do about this to, but to be honest um, the burrowing does extra damage to us because we are our mental armor has been weakened by being confused so I should I should really remember to keep a chest on us with like backup supplies in case something like this happens. Hmm. There's no reason to panic just yet, but it's not good. Look. Yeah, we don't know what that is. Oh wait, that is a uh, recoiler. We could try it. Can't recoil with hostiles nearby. Okay, well, I mean, I was gonna say that that is one possibility. Um, deploy wiring. Okay, we know what that is. Treat a scrap. Eat. Like, that could be Witchwood Bark, but it could be, like, any number of things. Actually, I'm pretty sure Witchwood Bark has a weight to it. 
right? Witchwood bark has weight, and I'm pretty sure we have like five to seven of them. So if we looked at things that are like five to seven weight and tried to eat one of them, I'm, I'm not saying this is going to help. I don't think that witchwood bark is going to do it. The other option is I know that our normality gas um, pump is three pounds. I know that it's three pounds, so we could try and find things that are three pounds and replace cell, recharge. Um, let's look at equip manual. No, okay, so we know that's a... Uh, we know that this is a melee weapon. We need to find something that is three pounds that can go in our missile weapons. Eat. I don't think I have anything worth eating at three pounds. Um, three pounds. Equip manual. Missile weapon. So this could be it. Let's try it. And then we're going to fire in this general direction. I don't... Okay, so that was our grenade launcher, I think. No, it's our normality gas... I, I, I actually guessed right. Um, if I could get really lucky here and actually hit them. Oh, I just threw. Oh, that's... A, I have a geometric disc oh god damn it I can't believe the geomagnetic disc doesn't do enough damage to kill a novice of the sightless way you'd think that it would right I'm just gonna try throwing it once, once more <gasps> that did it that actually did it. I can't believe it. Holy crap, the clutchest of clutch. Okay, uh, which would bark? We are confused, but that's okay. We're, we're gaining some health back. And actually, let's salve instead. I don't know why I used a witch would bark. Um, let's put the correct weapon back in our hands. <sighs> that is a legendary glow white, by the way. Loved by glow whites. Disliked by the denizens of Eid Freehold. I'm, I'm totally fine wrecking this guy's day. They are stunned. Um, let's go ahead and fire on them. Oh, come on, bud. Come on. Why am I getting hit twice? And why can I not hit anything? God damn. I really wish you would stop. Stop with the novice of the sightless way. I am so sick to death of these guys. They've they've been like absolutely being been a menace to my you know, my the, the Galen playthrough, the Cud Buds playthrough. I hate them. Why why you gotta why you guys gotta be such a menace? Glow whites I have no problem with. Oh, God damn. I can't believe how close to death we just came. 
Uh, I'm gonna see what I can collect from the corpses, but I'm I'm out of here. This this was a nightmare. Yeah, let's uh let's just like recoil out to Jopa. And yeah, I mean that's the spiciest this uh, this whole adventure has gotten. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.